Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about conditional if else statement in java programming so guys this is one of the important lessons that you should know in pretty much any programming language so over here what is the syntax is we start with the if keyword followed by some condition inside this open and close brackets so guys the program execution flow goes in this way so over here inside this if we provide a condition and if that condition is true then inside this curly braces the lines of codes will get executed so whenever the condition that we provide in the if statement is true the control flow goes to the block of code that is inside these curly braces or else when the condition is false inside this if statement the control flow goes to the else part so inside this else part we have the curly braces and then we have another block of code that can be executed so guys let us understand this with the help of example over here so let's say we have an integer let's say we have the integer as number it is equal to 5 and then guys we want to check whether a number that is provided in the variable number is less than 10 or not so we can provide the if statement so we have if statement followed by open and close brackets and inside this we have to check the condition that is this number we have used this variable name followed by less than sign and then we have the number that is 10 that we want to compare it with so guys what we are trying to do is we are going to check whether this number variable is less than this value that is 10 now guys this is one of the relational operators similarly we have many relational operators that we are going to learn in the upcoming videos as well so no need to worry about it for now you just need to understand that we are checking whether this number is less than 10 or not and then if it is less than 10 then we are going to print a statement so let me print the statement as number is less than 10 and guys this is a statement that will get printed over here and if the number is not less than 10 which means it can be equal to 10 or greater than 10 so we have the else part so after this if statement as you can see we have this if statement followed by the curly braces after the closed curly braces we can immediately have the else part now guys this is optional if you don't want to have the else part you can just remove it and you can completely ignore it we can also run our program with the if statement as well let me just save this file and try running this code so guys as you can see number is less than 10 is getting printed over here now guys what if we don't have the else part but this condition is also not true so for now it is true but then let's say we change the number to 15 in which case the number is not less than 10 so let me just save this file and try running this code So as you can see nothing got printed over here this is because this condition was not true that is number less than 10 this condition is false over here and the control flow did not go inside this block in order to print this statement and then after this there was the end of the program so guys this is where we can use the else part that is if the condition in the if statement is false we can have the else part so we can put else and then after this else we have to provide open and close curly braces and inside this we can have our statement so let me print another statement over here so we can say number is not less than 10 so let me just save this file and try running this code so previously this string was not getting printed but now since we are having the else part the string that is number is not less than 10 will get printed so as you can see number is not less than 10 is getting printed now let us change the number let's say the number is 9 over here and let me save this file and try running this code so as you can see number is less than 10 because the value of the number is 9 over here and in this way we can easily use the if else statement in order to check a particular condition and accordingly we can print some statements or do some manipulations as well let us now change the value over here to 10 and let me just save this file so guys what do you think which statement will get printed whether the number is less than 10 or whether the number is not less than 10 i want you to answer in the comment section below so consider this as a homework for you so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is equality and relational operators in java programming so stay tuned